Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Creepy Quest. Yeah, we know where this is going. We've read these before. Well, not on my channel, but I've read a lot of these. and Yeah, they're fucking funny. This is the frightening and true story of the horror I experienced from a haunted video game. <laughs> First sign you know this is going to be bad. Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Creepy Quest. Now, call me what you want, but I always have loved Nintendo games. Some of my favorite games that I have played include Super Mario World, Pokemon Ruby, The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, and Super Metroid. But my all-time favorite video game is Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. I love everything about DKC2, the characters, the levels, the music... And the bosses are simply magical. I've completed the game time and time again, and I know every secret in the game. However, a few weeks ago, I found an Easter egg that I have never seen before. After seeing this, I'm not sure whether I like Easter eggs anymore. Really? That, that's just stupid. No, I'm not going to swear. It was finally the day that I moved. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm actually kind of tired right now. Okay. It was finally the day that I moved into my new apartment. I just landed a job in New York City for a publishing company. I highly doubt that. And I had just put all of my furniture into my new house. The stress of fees and rent were killing me. Never mind. I'm not going to go into why that sounds silly. So I decided to take it easy for the afternoon. I went to play my Wii. I mulled about deciding which game to play. I wanted to play Diddy's Conquest, my favorite game of all time. Uh, I realized that I had not yet bought any of the DKC games on the Virtual Console, as I was never able to configure the internet connection properly. Now able to, I checked the Wii shop but saw that the games were not available for purchase. I decided to instead take a walk through the city and see if I could find any retro video game stores. After about an hour of walking, I found a store called Retro and Rare Video Games. Nice. Nice pun there. The store had a very run-down look, and I shuddered as I saw it. I was going to pass the store by... by... I'm sorry, I'm very tired. Oh my god, am I tired. Seeing as how it looked so terrifying... Oh, fuck. You are cheap. What the kind of hell kind of crap is that? Never mind. But I saw in the window Donkey Kong Country 2 and a new SNES. I stopped in front of the store, my mouth agape, probably looking like a monkey. I rushed into the store which was dingy and dark, and inquired about the game. The old man at the counter, whose name was Tom. Oh, God. Where the fuck did I... His name was Tom. Told me that the game was free, as long as I bought the new SNES. I told him that I would pay for the object, which he then said was free, he even gave me a... Wait a minute, hold on, sh Hold on, that... Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why would he tell you to buy the thing and then just give it to you for free? Ugh. Stupid people that just don't think. He even gave me a free banana colored controller because I was such a huge Donkey Kong fan, I took 
a cab home so I could play my new treasure as soon as possible as I started my mundane job in the morning. Oh, you fucking prick. Uh, yeah, I'm really sure that somebody out there, like any store, would just randomly hand you stuff that they're supposed to fucking sell you. Especially a yellow banana, a banana styled controller. Which I'm pretty sure a lot of Donkey Kong fans would love to buy. But whatever. Let's continue this atrocity. I bolted into my apartment without hesitation, hardly remembering to lock my door as I did. I unplugged my Wii from my television and set up the SNES. I pulled the DKC box out and examined it, noticing how the vibrant colors seemed even more vibrant than I remember. The red popping out with a blood red like shine, thinking nothing of it, I inserted the game into my SNES. The game made a satisfying clunk as I popped it into my console. I walked to my fridge and grabbed a root beer, my favorite soda, as the game booted up. When I came back from my kitchen, <sighs> You can tell these stories are not really terrifying me at all, especially this one. I noticed that the system had frozen on the rare, Rareware logo. Thinking the old man sold me junk, I hit the console lightly, hopping, hoping that it would somehow fix my problems. When, it, when I did, the logo began to warp. Well, no fucking shit. The jingle became a disturbing crunching. Wait, why would you think that hitting your console system would help you fix it? Stupid people. But then again, it's crappy pasta logic, so we have to let it pass. The jingle became a disturbing crunching sound, like bone breaking, and the rareware logo became a blood like red. A scream that sounded an awful lot like a Kremlin was heard, but then the game went back to normal, of course, like in every other cliché creepypasta game thing. Oh, I hate you people for writing these. The title screen, now, like, I'm, I, back to what I was stating, back to what I just said before, a second ago, or whatever, shit. Um, they're all good. Gaming creepypastas out there. Godzilla NES is one of my faves. And also, there's another one out there that I really do enjoy. What the hell was it called again? Oh, yes, the Happy Mask Salesman. Those are really good creepypastas because they work for what they do. This one here is just fucking silly. Uh, it, it falls under the line of that... Of those .exe game stories that I can't stand, like Sonic.exe. The title screen showed up next. It appeared normal, unlike that awful screen I just witnessed. The familiar title screen brought, brought back memories of my childhood. I felt so happy, but my happiness soon came crashing down. The title warped into another frightening image for a few seconds. The letters were blood red, reading Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Creepy Quest. Oh, that is super fucking cliched. Okay, whatever. Diddy appeared frightened, running away from a, fig from a figure in the background. Diddy looked so scared, he was crying and beaten up. <laughs> Blow me. I felt bad for the young ma man key. <laughs> man key. <laughs> the figure upon closer examination was Donkey Kong, one of my favorite video game characters. DK looked a little funny, though. DK's familiar tie was replaced with a noose made out of barbed wire. Oh, well, at least the material was kind of creative. Score one. Bing, bing. Uh, let's get back to this shit. As if he was hanged, 
by some Kremlings. How the hell would you know if it was Kremlings? What, did they fucking carve their name onto the fucking barbed wire? And his brown fur was stained with hyper-realistic blood. Bang, bang, bang. I always knew I would have to say that word in one of these someday. Now's the time. He had a severed arm of a Kremlin, but his most terrifying feature was his eyes. They were solid black, save for red pupils. He was crying tears of blood, but his blood blue blobbed soaked mouth made him look terrifying. Of course it would. Pfft. Crappy pasta logic, people. Suddenly, without warning or my input. What? What the fuck would your input do? The game started. I heard a crashing sound from the game. And THW game started. What the hell is a THW game? Okay. I was playing as Diddy, my number one favorite video game character. Oh my fucking god. How many times you gotta say that? Seriously. Just like usual. I was in a level I did not recognize, which was funky, because I knew every level of the game like the back of my hand. Obviously you do not, because you're an idiot. I moved to the right, expecting... Um, smithing to pop out and defeat me, but nothing happened. I traveled through the factory, seeing dead Kremlin. Sorry, I'm just thinking of that stupid fucking thing <laughs> that I read before. Seeing dead Kremlings everywhere. When I say dead Kremlings, I don't mean defeated ones. Like when you jump on their heads, I mean dead. Well, yeah, of course they would be dead. You just said dead gremlings. Oh, idiot. They were brutally murdered by something big. Well, how the fuck would you know that? Please, exa please exaggerate. Okay, probably will. With many of their limbs removed, skulls crushed in, intestines wrapped around their fear neck. Sorry, I'm not supposed to say this correctly because they don't write it correctly. The blood was very realistic looking. Oh, of course it was. As if actual animals were murdered. Diddy began crying tears of blood as he saw the horrific scene, which was probably a lot for such a young character to handle it didn't occur to me that characters in a game could act like this as they were programmed what a stupid fucking thing to say back to the story at hand i first thought the game was hacked by the old man tom why the fuck would an old man be wasting his time hacking video games? Never mind. Crappy pasta logic again. I continued to play Diddy's creepy quest. At the end of this odd factory level, I reached a throne. This throne was probably that evil King K rules throne who taken over the Khan Island. Did he murder these people? His own troops? He truly is a sick person. No, you are sick in the head for thinking that this was entertainment. That no, that this was actually well written. I made Diddy walk over to the throne, which had a broken crown on it. I touched it, figuring it would end the level. It did. Ooh, the next level was even more disturbing. Fuck that thing wasn't disturbing. The level was a cave. I don't remember any cave levels like this. The cave had crude drawings in the background that looked like they were eminent in blood. Like I said, I'm not saying these, these words correctly because they're not spelt right. P 
Pictures of a gorilla-looking beast were in the background, destroying the crocodile-like figures. I figured that these were paintings done by the Kremlins who thought Donkey Kong was evil. Boy, was I wrong. The level continued, continued on skulls of Kremlins. And those weird rat guys were everywhere in the level. What, what weird rat? Oh, yeah, the guys with the uh, construction hats and shit on. Along with some bits of flesh and brain. Ooh, tasty. These horrific trails continued on forever. Really, then how did you stop? <laughs> As the level hadn't even ended, well, smart. Even though I had been running for nearly an hour, Diddy was sobbing and wailing at the point. Obviously disturbed at this point. <sighs> I'm fucking tired. The horrible and hyper-realistic blood was everywhere. Suddenly I heard a scream from the game. I could no longer control it at this point. As if it was a giant cutscene, King K. Rules stumbled onto the screen with a black eye, a missing hand, and, br and a broken leg. He looked horrified and scared out of his mind, begging for Diddy's help. Diddy shrieked and ran over to the other side of the screen and hid behind a rock. Diddy watched in horror as an evil-looking Donkey Kong appeared with barbed wire around his neck, blood in his fur, and a machete in his hand. DK grabbed the pitiful Kremlin by his tail. Smiling with his stained and bloody tail as he cut off the poor crocodile's good leg, the character let out a horrific shriek, wailing for the pain to end. That's funny, I thought. Video game characters in this game can't speak. Yes, they can. DK began brutally beating the crocodile with a rock he found nearby. He broke his limbs that he didn't cut off. Smirking as he did, he stopped beating Cruel a minute later. With a horrible smile, he lifted up the leg he had cut off and began eating it right in front of Cruel. I thought you monkeys only ate bananas, he cried out like a simpering fool. Like the like you, sir, like the idiot that wrote this stupid shit. This is the only way to keep invaders off my island. I am the ruler of Congo Bongo Island, DK said in return. Turning his attention back to Cruel, he grabbed the lizard by his throat, picked him up, grabbing his head with his other hand. Diddy looked horrified. DK ripped the head off of the crocodile, grabbing a nearby pike. He stuck it, the severed head, on the stick, screamed with fury, and ran out of the cave. I was able to control Diddy again, and so I followed the ape out of the cave. The level ended. The last level I had pl I had played was the Kremlin ship. I followed a trail of horrified Kremlings who begged Diddy for mercy. I was confused as I hadn't remembered this from my past experiences. Wait, this is what gets you confused. Okay, Donkey Kong coming out of nowhere, smashing the lizard. Uh, a lizard. Uh, tied up in barbed wire. Uh, hang. Uh, uh, with a noose on his, around his neck, made of barbed wire, picking up um, Cruel, or whatever the fuck the, the name of the uh, Lizard King is, and brutally beating him to death and mutilating him and having blood squirt everywhere, them talking. No, no that, that, that's not weird. That, 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 that's not a strange experience. This is completely different. This is what confuses you. Oh, there, there's a reason why you're on the crappy pasta site and the troll pasta site instead of the fucking real one. Oh, wait. 
I was confused as I hadn't remembered this from my past experiences. I continued on to the helm of the ship and saw Donkey Kong. He was toting the stick with the head around, proclaiming himself the sole ruler of the island. Donkey Kong dropped the stick when he saw Diddy grinning like he was evil or something. You are fucking retarded. He grabbed the poor monkey and said, I'll make an example of you to show my family. I am the only one who should rule. Diddy screamed out for me specifically, wow, like he knew your name, and asked me to turn off the console. Donkey Kong said, no, I have to do this. Suddenly, the power in my apartment was cut, except for the television, and I was horrified to watch the bloody scene. DK brutally murdered his nephew in front of his family and friends who bowed down and begged for mercy. DK began laughing and he then turned his attention to me. I'll come for you next. I'll paint your new apartment with your blood. I'll paint your new apartment with your blood, I should have said. I was scared, but I couldn't see or find my way out of my apartment. I tripped over my television. How the fuck did you do that? <laughs> How the fuck do you trip? Like, seriously, like, what did you do? Place it on the floor like a moron? <laughs> trips over their TV. I tripped over my television and fell over, huddling and hopping. DK wouldn't kill me. I don't know how he could get me, but I was sure he could because you're fucking stupid. I moved out and back with my parents for the time. I don't know when it will be safe to ever play video games again. BTU. I hope that Donkey Kong doesn't kill anybody anymore. Well, um, I hope we learned our lesson that you should spell check your stuff before you publish it. Yeah, this story was very bad. I hope you enjoyed these terrible stories. And, um, yeah. Done. Like dinner.